Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Richard the Dick Coughlin, and are you ready for a video? Oh, ready then. My name is Richard the Dick Coughlin, ladies and gentlemen. This is this has been one of the weirdest sort of build-ups to a video because I had no intention of doing anything even remotely like this. Here's the backstory, and this is the first of two videos at least, but I can guarantee you that given this guy's personality, uh, there will be many times in the future, I'm sure, when he will pop up. This guy's got propaganda buster levels of, you know, fucktardery going on. A couple of days ago I was sent a link to a newspaper article, on, or it, it, an article on The Independent. I, but I had a look at it and it was, it was quite interesting. And uh, it was basically uh, about a political party. And um, this guy, if nothing else, has probably given Nigel Farage a huge sigh of relief. Because now he can sit there, Nigel Farage, and go, thank God, nobody's paying attention to you, Kip. Who goes by the name of Mike Buchanan. Mike Buchanan, the leader of Britain's new blank, blank, blank party. Now, party, it means political party. Um, this is a, he is the leader, the, um, the guru, he's a former Tory, left in 2009, so he set up his own party it, last year, no not last year, 2013, so yeah, back, just over a year and a half old, so it's, politically, it's really, really young. What's interesting about this is, it, UKIP can step to one side, BMP, National Front, EDL, rather than going for the cliched, let's focus on the Muslims, or let's focus on immigration, or let's focus, rather than that, he's basically taken the same level of hatred and paranoia, bigotry and desire for absolute power and to oppress another group that the BMP and um, you know the National Front and all the others had except he, rather than doing it based on race or ethnicity, he's gone for gender. The, I'm going to tell you the name of the party and the reason I'm building this up is because it's a two-part name. It is effectively a male supremacist political party and I'm not saying that as an assumption or I'm not saying it just because he's an he's a anti-feminist or whatever but that is essentially the whole party. The whole party is anti-feminism and it's his only issue. This is He's not just like one of those single issue parties like UKIP focus on the EU but they have got other opinions on stuff, they're just all bonkers but this guy's got nothing but and this guy seems to think if you get rid of feminism, suddenly the world will be wonderful and, you know, fucking air, rainbows will spring out of the sky. And is, He has called his party the Justice for Men and Boys Party. Apart from the fact that that just, on its own, sounds like some sort of attempt by a group of paedophiles to just put together a political party to legitimise the sick monsters that they are. Bearing in mind that in recent, the last year or so, there's been lots of cases of prominent politicians within the government, uh, dating back to as far as like, oh, 30 years ago, who are involved in, you know, mass amounts of child sex trafficking and, um, basically just fucking kids for 30 years and lots of cover-ups and, uh, and, um, and he's decided to come along with the Justice for Men and Boys. But that's not the full name for the party. You'd think it would be the full name for the party. He obviously felt that just leaving men and boys in there, uh, on their own was a little bit, maybe, you know, he, he, he probably had to, even as a token, he had to mention someone else. So, what he ends up with, I'm not making this up, he ends up with the Justice for Men and Boys party, in brackets, and for the women who love them, close brackets, parents. That is the full name of this man's party. Justice for men and boys, brackets, and the women who love them, after four. But that alone, that's the first thing you learn about this guy, that that's what he set up. He looked at that and thought, that is a great, that's killer. That's what you want for a political party. You want a name, you want a title for the party, and then a second bit, you know, that you've clearly added on just to try and appease the fucking minge Nazis who are going to complain the fucking estrogenic fucking police. Now, what I've learnt about Mike Buchanan is, um, this party, it's not really a party, because when you say party, political party, organisation, when you say it like that, you are implying, you are saying that this is a collective. This is, this is, the are plurals of people, multiple. But what I can gather, like most conservative, you know, Tories, particularly people like him, I mean, he's down, he actually left because David Cameron said something, uh, in 2009 that was sympathetic towards uh, feminism and you know the idea of you know female uh, female uh, uh, rights and uh, equal rights gender and apparently this pissed him off and so he left and uh, what I've learned about him is he's, he's a bit and particularly when it comes to the internet he doesn't know how to internet right? so I w now I decided to go onto his website 
the website for his party. Now, one thing about politics that you learn is, and, and this is a fact, whether you like it or not, and I'm not saying it's right or wrong, it's just true, is that what you say, how you say it, and how you look when you say it, stuff that lacks substance, the style, that wins more elections than any good idea has ever done. I've gone through, in the, in the last six years, I have gone through literally thousands of fucking websites made by the most, by people on the furthest possible end of the, of the sort of mental health spectrum. You go through all these fucking things, and what I've learned is the, what, as soon as you look at the website, you learn more about that political, the particular sort of, the competence and the intelligence behind um, the people who've made it than anything you've ever read, you'll read in there. The worst websites I've ever come across um, in terms of what they were saying and what they were, what they actually, the ideas they had and the beliefs and policies were always, without exception, the worst looking, the most unpleasant. They mix up the fonts and they, they don't put it, and there's just random space here and they've got like a, they've got bit, oh, they make the links the same colour as the, it just, it's rubbish, right? And then they don't know what they're doing, and it makes sense because you know if your if your main philosophy in politics is based on the idea that people that different coloured people should not mix, then it's quite obvious that you are not going to be very good when it comes to actually you know putting different colours of you know of together on a on a web page. You know you you're not going to be able to know what goes with what. The bottom line here, and I know this isn't based in logic, but it's a fact. But if you want, if you go to a, a website that is promoting an idea or an ideology, you can guarantee that the shitness and the you the just downright disgusting horrid horror of the website and how it looks will be equal, a minimum equal, right, if not slightly better than the actual you know, abilities and and intelligence of the politicians and the ideologues behind it. This is what happened when I came onto, uh, I came onto the website. For men and boys. Now I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you it now. And here we go. And da -da -da -da. now <clears throat> that's the mate. That's what you see at the start. Now, first of all, if we can see from the URL, uh, right there we go. It is. It's actually a WordPress. J4MB. I'm a four man band. But for J4MB dot WordPress dot com. That just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Now it's a WordPress. So okay, it's a WordPress. That's fine. People make good websites out of WordPress. That doesn't mean anything. Now here's the thing. Right, right. I'm going to try and keep the camera still. Now, this is the problem, first off, this is the start, this is the, what you see when you open, right? It's, it's fucking horrific. And I'm going to go through one. Now, I want to make it clear to anyone who's sympathetic to Mike Buchanan, or, sim or even just feel sorry for him, because, well, I mean, look, how can you not feel sorry for that poor son of a bitch? All of my objections here, you're going to see, are based on pretty much nothing more than his inability to understand the importance of presentation, and his, his, his incompetence in dealing, in w coming on the internet and doing things that are noob level basic manoeuvres, cliche, like the sort of things a 12 year old beatard would not do. That's the logo, Justice, with a, a small case J for men and boys and the women who love them. So then he's got those three, the, the men, boys and the women, he's got them represented here. Now he's got this profile of a bloke who looks like the fucking, it's like a profile shot of the the engineer from Prometheus, right? That's it, so he's obviously the man, he's obviously, and then he's got the child next to him, the boy, who's obviously because he's blue, and then he's got what's apparently the woman, yeah. but he couldn't be bothered to get a different logo or a different, uh, different drawing for the woman, he just used the child and expanded it, left it pointing up and left it pink. Which I think is a subconsciously saying a lot about how he views women. Have temper tantrums, they always want chocolate. They scream when they don't get their own way, and they and they, they bleed regularly. Um, but yeah, they're always looking up at the sky, the man looks forward, man looks forward, because that's where the world is. But no, the children and kids are looking up, and that's, why they always, that's why they can't drive, or, you know, do anything useful um, outside. That's why they have to stay in the house, because they're always looking up, distracted by the sky. Now, and there's Mike. Now, I'm sorry. Is that seriously the best picture he could get? He looks like some sort of bizarre sort of scientific gene splicing experiment went on where they combined the DNA of of Hans Mole Man from The Simpsons, Ronnie Corbett, you know, Penfold from Danger Mouse, and added a dash of only slight but what is quite clearly pedo there. I'm sorry, there is 
it you know it's not it's not there. He just looks like he looks like a boring cunt. Is what he looks like. A, but look, he's got he's got the pedo glasses, pedo face, right? nose, pedo mouth, pedo eyes, little fucking those little rodent crab like eyes, pedo haircut. Pedo head, pedo suit. Why is he got? He looks like he doesn't look like a man who's ready to lead Britain and save us from the devastating wage, wage of war of the piss flaps that is coming our way. You know the bollocks, as I'm going to call it. You know he's not. He, he's not. He looks like a man who's just been caught short. He looks like a man who's just been caught wanking into a kettle and someone's taken a picture of him. It's what, what? Is there no other photo of him smiling? Is have women sucked the joy out of him along with all the sperm they jacked and stole? Have they, have they sucked the life out of this man to the point where he literally cannot even muster? He just, his op, his picture is him going, Whoa? with his hands up going, Whoa. but why is though, surely his picture, you know, surely his, you know, winning smile, you know, the face of the justice of, for men and boys, surely that and the logo should be at the top. Instead, he's got a plain text for no reason above it, and a line separating it, obviously. I'm not nitpicking, this is all, it's all relevant, it's not a quote. But this is the quote he used, and it makes no sense at all. An invasion of armies can be resisted, but not an idea whose time has come. What, the, the secret armies, is this the stealth she had, is it? Is it, is it what is that, what's going on there? Is this the, the feminazi sort of cloaking devices? They're going around, the armies can be resisted. What armies are going around? Where are these armies of fucking hairy arm pitted, real ale drinking out of a metal tankard Doc Martin, where big floppy, you know, flat chested, skin headed, pipe smoking, you know, lesbian separatists going around in armies? And they, an army can, can't, and there's a point, sorry, but an army's most of the time can't be resisted. That's why wars have winners. I can't think of a war I've had in my lifetime that wasn't asymmetrical. But an idea whose time has come. This guy is basically suggesting we turn the clock back on gender equality about a hundred years. And he's saying whose time has come. Your idea came, mate. Your idea was here for centuries. For, th for years and years. For m many, many millennia and generations. Your ideas were already around. This is not a new idea. You might as well have founded a party based on the idea of creating fire or worship in a tree. There's no... It, that, that quote has got nothing to do with what he's, he's fighting for. He might as well have put a random quote up there from someone saying, oh, you know, every morning I wake up and I, I curse the Jews, then I roll up a copy of the Beano and I brush my teeth with it. And quote from 1984 from world-renowned leader Hitler McFuck Packies. I mean, and then... If, now I thought all this block, this block beneath him, I, I hadn't even really paid attention to this. And this is the worst part by a mile, and I literally mean by a mile, because it, I mean it looks like he's standing on top of a building, like he's like little little Hitler. Yes, I used a Hitler reference. Fucking sue me. If you look at this block, it looks like it's got loads of letters. You think it's probably some text to introduction? No, no, no. This is not text. This is not an introduction. Nowhere on this page do we have any clue as to what this fucker actually thinks about anything. And based on the look on his face, I don't think it's worth mentioning. You go over here, look. These are actually, you realise, these are all links. They're all links, and they, and he, rather than going down, or putting them in a category, you know, or putting them at the top of the screen, or having them be, sort of, you click on something to scroll down. Each link, and I have to spec, each link is individual, just fat stuffed on there, and they're all in alphabetical order. It starts at home, there, obviously, apart from that, but then it goes from there, and it's, it's six, one, five, and it goes all the numbers down there, and then suddenly it's got the C, C, B, B, D, 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 A. This is meant to be the sort of, like, this is like the welcoming. Uh, this is the foyer. This is where you can you know, go and have a look, see what you want to find, but you can't you don't want to be able to find, you can't find anything, it just, it looks like a random collection, it looks like what goes on in his head when he tries to w work things out, and you, listen, I'm going to click on the link now, just, I'm going to click on the sort of scroll down button, see, look how small this is, look, look at the fucking, look, this, this is one, and this is the opening page, and I'm, you wait, right, let's just scroll down, see how the black, <laughs> Right, we've just got to the bottom of the black. And we wouldn't mind, it's not that big in itself, but it's just so much. How are you supposed to find anything? How am I, sp how am I supposed to know what, re you know, find the new reason I'm supposed to justify rape it when it's in that lot? Oh, but wait, we haven't got. Let's carry on to the rest and see how long it takes us. Mm -hmm.
Birthday whilst she's going on. Death is his head. I know it's hard to take, but her mind has been made up. She didn't want your virginity. Death is his head. I know you want to make her see how much this pain hurts. But that's no excuse to be a Nazi. We're at the bottom, folks. But we're at the bottom. Oh, look, older posts. Click on that. Suddenly then, eventually, oh bang, the fucking thing's gone. And look, we're back up here again. So we have to go, uh, and, oh, 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 like, this is, a, let me show you, like, this is a screenshot I took. I took a screenshot of the entire page. This is, this is about 400 perabytes, this fucking thing. I'm just going to scan right out, and you can get an idea of what this looks like from space. Right. There. That is the full thing. Look at that. If that was actually real, it would go down into the centre of the earth. I'd find Jules Verne down there. I'm supposed to be... You know, this is the sort of thing... And I'm, I'm going to try and scroll it down now, but bloody hell. There we go. Manifesto. It's always worrying when you see the word manifesto and a bloke like him. But yeah, this is all his stuff here. Now, I'm gonna, I'll just go through quickly some of the... Then you look at the links and what they are. They're just random words, some of them. But it gives you an idea as to sort of the problem he's going to have. And the problem he's going to have is... Well, the, who he's got to um, back him up. Because let's face it, he's a politician. He wants to win elections. He wants to rule the world. He wants to wipe out mass amount. He wants to get women, line them up, and shoot them. And who hasn't dreamed of it? Here he is. Right, he's not going to achieve this dream. Right, so he's got the I don't need feminism because, which is just a voice for men under the guise of women against feminism, run, you know, overseen by Janet Bloomfield. Right, so he goes down there. Then he's got, like, blah, blah, blah. blah. It's, um... Things about rape, rape, false rape, all the false rape allegations. Yeah, you're gonna, if you're a woman, you think, who, who shall I falsely accuse of raping me? Oh yeah, fuck it, that, that gnome-faced pillock over there. I, I haven't even got to his uh, manifesto and the election strategy. Is it gonna be kill all the bitches, break, break, the, break them slags down? Is that what it's gonna be? Anyway, about Mike Bucken, I wouldn't click on that. I would click on child porn before I clicked on that link. Anyway, you come over here, it says, uh, it, this one says here, a, a call to women, uh, assuming it's a cat call, and uh, she should be grateful. Then you've got a voice for men, oh look, a voice for men. Oh, so a voice for men who is Janet Bloomfield, who is also Women Against Feminism. So all we've got so far is him, basically, mo mo moaning about false rape allegations and myths, rape myths. What are the myths of rape? Did you know that if you rape someone, your penis will turn into pure diamond? Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got a voice for men who are, uh, who are American and Canadian, and uh, so they're no use to him. And Paula Lamb. I mean, Paula Lamb is the... This is the problem with the men's rights movement, is all the, all the people who are the prominent spokespeople and figures are the worst human beings that have ever existed. Now, Paula Lamb is like... Imagine if AIDS and Ebola had a baby, and then it, it sort of bred with, you know, uh, I don't know... That the rage virus. That's what you'd get. You know, Paula Lamb. So you've got Paula Lamb, American, you've got Janet Bloomfield, American, and uh, admits on Twitter that she, has, she, she fucks men and touches them while they're sleeping. So she's a rapist. And you've got Women Against Feminism, which is just the same thing. This is basically... You know, you're sat here going, right, these are all Kellogg's, right? Crunchy Nut, Cocoa Pops. But this is all still Kellogg's, right? But here we go to the... This is one of his organisations down here, the Anti-Feminism League. How the hell do you honestly expect me to take you seriously as a politician and a rights organisation when you've got the anti-feminism league? Genius. Now, BBC, 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 BBC is anti-male, BBC hates men. Then this is, this is something it does now. Another American, I think he's American, Bill Burr. Bill Burr, who's not only American, he's a comedian. Brilliant, so you're linking, you have to, you have to find a, an American comedian to back you up. Right, yeah, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start protesting, you know, when I start doing my sort of anti-racist stuff and my pro-equality videos, I'm gonna start quoting Carrot Top. And then he goes on it and he's got these, th he has these weird random monthly awards, like, uh, Caroline Cardo Perez, Lying Feminist of the Month, twice. Look, 
Caroline Carino Prince, whiny feminist of the month, whiny and lying. You know, well, it's nice to know she's doing it right. Right. Then he's got. Then he's got David Cameron, toady of the year. David Cameron is a toady. I mean, come on. Look, David Cameron sounds like he says all the right things, but the truth is, that's a politician. He slips out occasionally. Detroit conference on men's issues. Right. We discussed rape and nothing else. No women were there, so we couldn't practice. Uh, David Cameron. David Cameron. Um. I would like David Cameron to win again, just to annoy this bloke. Then, domestic violence, one in four women admit violence in relationships. Right, so it's not a cover-up, or a conspiracy. They're actually admitting to it. Domestic violence, double standard. Why do women hit me when I... Why do women hit me and always win? I guarantee you, he, when he's got, he got divorced ten years ago. He admits this in, a, in an interview. And he's allowed to see his kids, right, he admits that. So he's never been, he hasn't been persecuted. But I guarantee you, he, he tried it on. He tried to smack his wife one night. And... And let's face it, if that guy tries to hit you, you ain't going to hold back, right? And she, I guarantee you, she went Brock Lesnar full, you know, here comes the pain. And she battered the ever-loving piss out of him. She, he was like, she was Drago and he was fucking Apollo Creed getting his face smashed in. It was like in Fight Club when, when uh, Edward Norton's pounding that poor bloke's head to pieces. Look at all this fucking stuff about domestic violence. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Domestic violence worldwide. Oh my God! People hit each other in houses all over the world. Entitlement princess of the month. Of the month. You can only find one. More men than women die as a result of domestic violence. Yes, because we're knackered from punching them. Blah blah blah. Female sex offenders. Yeah, honestly, I was expecting a lot more when I clicked on that. But feminism is the pursuit of female supremacy. Well, obviously they're doing a very shit job of it then, based on the fact that men still own and control 90% of anything that's worth having. You know, like money, business, po politic, political power, you know, armed forces, you know, shit like that. This is a guy, this is what you are, my friend, as a men's rights activist. You look at the world and see men own 90 plus percent of everything that's worth owning. And then you look at it and think, God, imagine what we could achieve if we weren't being held back. It goes on, feminists, enemies of men, women and children. Well, what, what are they then? Fucking giraffes. Feminists, this is what they look like. I'm not clicking on that. I'm not looking at it because there's no picture of me. I know lots of really hot feminists. I've banged lots of them. And uh, I've known lots of manters as well. But then I, look at you. Who the hell is this fucking gormless, like, bowl faced little twat? It's like, he's like a. He's just like a gonk. He's like. He's just, there's nothing. There's nothing there. He's like a blob of human. It was just. It's like God had a hairball or something or yacked up some. Some aluvi. That's all he. He's sitting there making fun of what feminists look like, the way they dress. You know, fuck you, you. What are you? Who are you? Sorry, I didn't realise we had bloody Chris Chatham Tatum sat here. Um. Oh, this is this. Then he's got his next um, form of uh, endorsement from Girl Rights What. <laughs> uh, another American. Another American. Uh, a woman and uh, the head fem RA, arch fem RA. A woman who fulfills every single characteristic of of the evil, sadistic, using, manipulative, money-grabbing women uh, that MRAs actually believe all women are, and yet she gets away with it because they're dumb enough to fall for the fact that because she because she sits there and goes, yeah, oh, I've got two kids, I don't need a man, I don't make my husband pay child support, I don't need a man to look after me. By the way, could you all donate to my PayPal so I can pay for my kids? I don't need to, I don't need a man to look after my. I need seventy thousand subscribers, but I don't need a. Yeah, the, I mean, I when I first found her, I didn't realise who no, it, no, she was a woman called Karen Strawn. I thought she was the actor who played Cameron in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Pardon my French. But you're an asshole! Then he, here's another one. Uh, he goes, gynocentrism. Robbie! Right, the, the fact that I live in a world where that word has been able to exist, you know, makes me depressed. Gormless feminism of the month. Gormless fe oh, Seriously, this bloke's calling people gormless. Stephen Hawkins makes more facial expressions than him. Right, uh, he's got, oh, another, another whiny feminist and Harpy Lifetime Achievement Award. Jesus, they're, they're raking him in. How can he only find one a month? Here's what, oh yeah. Uh, Janet Street Porter, the most vile woman in Britain? Uh, no. Probably Rose West and Myra Hindley, I would have said. You know, people who murdered and raped children. Then his next reference over here, Jim Jeffries. Talks about uh, Jim Jeffries, the Australian comedian who is known for deliberately being very uh, offensive and and and, and uh, unpleasant and, and, and politically incorrect. You're quoting, so you've got Bill Burr, Jim Jeffries, Paula Lamb, Janet Bloomfield, an organisation that is both Paul Lamb and Janet Bloomfield, Girl Rights What? 
Are you got anyone else next? You know, drinking with Bob, possibly? The villain free? Are we gonna get carry on? Man Woman Myth, another American YouTuber who has absolutely no. Va this is why Paul Lamb of A Voice for Men interviews Janet Bloomfield of A Voice for Men. My God, that's gonna be a real hard hitting interview. He's gonna make. I bet he's gonna challenge her ideals and her worldview so much, isn't he? Jesus Christ Almighty. And this goes on. Men shouldn't marry. I don't think you have a choice in that matter, mate. You shouldn't do anything. You shouldn't go out of the house. Real Fathers for Justice. I did not know there was a second, there was a new sect. Who were the, who were the first lot then? Were they the fake Fathers for Justice? Was that just a bunch of blokes with a midget dressed as a child? Another whiny feminist of the month, blah, blah, blah. Then he's got his Twitter. He's got a Twitter. Why are some men violent? I want you off the fucking set, you prick! I'll tell you what I, what's making me violent, right, is, is you talking. Uh, why are women above the law? Because they've got boobs and they suck willies, that's what they do. My name is Boxy. Why are most people in top major corporations are men? Right, so he admits this. He, he sits there and admits it. And then sits there and whines about it, right? And then he's got it. Women's, and then he sits there and complains that women are looked after. Basically, women are not beaten to death every day. YouTube, he's got a YouTube channel, don't worry. And then he... And that's, that's, that's just some of it. I haven't even clicked on those things, and I've lost the will to live. Now, I'm going to leave the website there for a second. Let's go on to here. This is his Facebook. I found it. Within, I found all this stuff you're out to see within 10 minutes. Right? Here's his Facebook, Mike Buchanan. Oh, God, it's disappointing I find I've got a mutual friend. Go down here. He's got 1,524 friends. Between my YouTube channel, my uh, Facebook pages, I've got over 6,000. So I'm doing a shit like site better than you, Mike. And uh, just that, that's not a little pathetic dig as my dick's bigger than yours. There's a reason for it. Here's his uh, Twitter account, Mike Buchanan11, that's his, uh, I think, 1-1, one, one. I don't know what that's meant to be fully. Mike Buchanan, blah, blah. here he is, 2012, so I've got four, nearly 4,000. Right. Okay, uh, here he is on Google+, Plus. hey, shout out to all you Google Plusers, you guys are crazy and everywhere, everyone loves this website and uses it. 125 followers, right, I'm not even going to go there, who cares, it's Google+. Plus. And here's Mike Buchanan, he's been on YouTube posting videos regularly for a year, he's been on TV, he basically makes men's rights activist uh, videos and anti-feminism videos, you would think this guy would be raking in the subscribers, and you would be right, because in the last year, he has managed to acquire 713 subscribers. He's basically got the same number of subscribers I've got on this, sh this shitty channel that I made back up two weeks ago, that hasn't had a shout out or been pimped out by anyone it's just i've just up like i've got 700 jesus christ man like how but how shit do you have to be to fucking not be able to get to get 713 men's rights activists and anti feminists they're everywhere it's this is one of the safest options but then this guy goes to a level that is beyond relief right and this is what i mean about him not really getting it right, right. on his on his on his uh he has a he has a contact section like you would contact us contact us huh, as if there's two of them and he clicks on that one you click on contact us and uh, you go down and uh, let's wait for the thing to load here we go right contact us let's go down below for the black the the obsidian block of misery that sits here the now I want you to pay attention to this because this is not this is his public website this is not in any way a violation of his privacy or dock dropping he hears here contact us. Mike Buchanan has lived in Bedford for many years. He invites you to email him at mike at jm, j4mb.org.uk or call him on that number. 07967-02615. That is his mobile phone number. Fuck! He can give out his own mobile phone number and home email address on his own website. Do you think David Cameron would do that, or, or Nick Clegg, anyone? Do you think Lord, Lord Such? I fucking die! You know, Jesus, Nick Griffin didn't want to give his mobile phone number out. You know? Look, so there it is, and I'm going to leave links to all this below, and it's important. Now, there's a reason for this, because you, you're, you lot, uh, what I'm about to do now is where it gets interesting, because you lot are going to have to need to, you're going to need to help me now. You're going to need to step in and make sure that Mike is aware. I'm not going to say you should call him. He'll keep calling me. He'll keep calling me until I come over. He'll make me feel guilty. I'm not going to say you shouldn't. I'm just going to say, I'm not going to say either way. I'd rather you didn't make life difficult for me. Um, and uh, just a few knob photos maybe. But anyway, this is where it gets interesting because there's one more thing he forgot to do. There's one more thing that Mike did that 
only a classic uh, only a classic fucktard, a total noob with no fucking experience, no no sort of absolutely no points whatsoever. Now, you know what it is, and I knew I already knew what it was, um, because I'd already mentioned it. In fact it was the first thing that I mentioned when I came to the website. And it's something that if you've been on the internet a while you would you would you wouldn't even think that someone would forget to do this. And it's this. J4MB.wordpress.com Now, given the sort of exposure he's got recently, and by the way, Mike, and I say this with all the respect in the world, <laughs> um, that I could possibly have for you, um, you, all the, I see you boasting about the 156,000 views on BuzzFeed. You do realise that those people, you've noticed those people haven't come flooding towards you to give you some sort, to say, yes, Mike, lead us into the promised land, Mr. Toad. No, they, they, they're laughing at you, Mike. The only reason you're in the independent and all these other, is because people are going, oh, my God, I cannot believe this is a person who exists. Ah uh, ha 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 ha! You might think now, g don't give me this. Any publicity is good publicity. Crap, because that's not true. If you think that's true, then phone up the big national newspaper and the police and tell them that you are a raging serial pedophile and you have the bodies of Madeleine McCann and April Jones in your freezer. Go on and let, let, let's see how much you enjoy the publicity you get. You're you're a ju you're a laughing stock. You know you are you are a man who this is. You think this is something. That you, you've got you've got something to offer the world. You think that they and you think the world's now going to start listening to Mike Buchanan, Mike, Mike McKitty Fiddler, the you know fifty. But no, you're not, Mike. If I cannon, you Buchanan. No, no one's listening to you, Mike. They're laughing at you. You have done now. I give you all the credit in the world for actually being bold enough to come and do this because you've got more balls than all the other men's rights activists I've seen on the internet. Because you know, they, they only exist on the internet. You're the first one to come forward. And you're speaking to a world outside the internet where, where people who believe and have these ideas that you have right, are considered to be a bit sad. And a bit of a, bit of a massive... Wake up! Bitter, lonely, immature, and they, need, and they need to grow up and stop acting like such self-entitled, petulant brats. Stop trying so hard to pretend that your life is as difficult as everyone else's and that you are and that we are all just as persecuted and the white heterosexual man just you know he can't catch a break these days. Right. You say feminists hate men, Mike. No, feminists hate you. And it's not hard to see why. I don't like you. I wouldn't like you even if I wasn't a feminist. I'm sure there's lots of non feminists who don't like you. You know, and you do that thing that people do, that bigots do, where they, they meet a certain group type of person so many times, and that type that person doesn't like them. And the reason they don't like them is completely legitimate. It's because they're a wanker. Right? You're, the, you know, women feminists do not like you because you are you're just a you're an old throwback. You're a fossil of of hate. Right? You're the guy who would have sat there and complained about you know when the when when one of the suffragettes threw herself under a horse at the Grand National and died. You'd be the guy pissing and moaning because he made a bet. Oh, it's just ruining a national... You're one of those fuckers. You moan about the thing that doesn't matter. You miss the point. And I'm telling you this not because I hate you. It's because I love you. You are my hero. My YouTube boner, it won't go down. I want you to do well. And I believe in you, Mike. Right? But this is... You cannot do this, Mike. And I, I went to this and I thought, well, maybe he's got... Maybe it's just because I've typed that in. Maybe he's got the domain name. And he's just linked it to the WordPress. So I typed in... I typed in justiceformenandboys.com. Nothing. Or well, maybe there's maybe there's a mistake. So I went to a website called 123reg.co.uk where you can buy domain names and check see which ones are available. And I typed in justice for men and boys. And I got all of the options that are possible were available to me. Not even co.uk. Not even org.uk. Not even org. You haven't got anything. You haven't sat... This did not occur to you to protect... Maybe the name of your the very thing that you hope to turn into a a sort of global empire. This is this is what you have, you f you fail to do that, and I don't think it's because you're a bad guy or you're an idiot. I think you're just naive about the internet. You know, you just don't you just don't know the certain things you're supposed to do. There are, um, you know, you've made every noob mistake possible. 
You're, you're two steps away from making a video ranting and raving saying, please stop calling me a homo. This is what we. This is what I'm expect. I don't expect this from a man who's claiming to be a politician, who's competent. He forgets his domain name. Right, and not even just got .com. .co.uk was available. And I sat there and I realised something. And I read Mike. Here it is. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, watching this, please. I know it's been a long video and it's been much here, but please, this is very important. Mike needs to see this. You know how to contact him via any means possible, right? You've got his carrier pigeon address, you've got all of the, you've got, everything is there. All your days are belong to us. Mike needs to hear what I've got to say, because Mike, what I'm going to say, what I've come, what I've got for you, is something that, it's going to, I'm going to, I'm willing to give you my services, and use of my body, and mind, to help you. Because you clearly, Mike, you might be a very smart man, at, you know, maybe in some, you know, Maybe in some pre-Renaissance era. You are really dumb. You know, you know what you're doing. You can put your clothes on, put glasses on. You can stare at a camera and look like you've farted. What, I, what you need is a guy who knows how the inter what you need to do to, to keep yourself above water on the internet. Tide goes in, tide goes out. Because I saw, when I saw you hadn't bought these domain names, you know, I felt a bit ambivalent because part of me was going, God, this is terrible. Poor old Mike. He doesn't have the clue. Right? He hasn't got a clue that these domain names are sat here, and that you know, and anyone could come along at any point. And, and they could, so, I mean, did you realise, Mike, that there's there are people out there, there there are smart aleck, you know, left wing, do goody little fucking politically correct liberal P, you know, PC brigade, social justice warrior, cultural Marxist, and pick your fucking ad hominem. You know, who, are, who are desperate there to sit there and take opportunities like this so they can go, hey, you know what, we could, we could, we could use this to, 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 to fuck with this guy. We could take this, we could buy these domain names and we could, use, we could then set up websites that make fun of him and because it's got the actual domain name, the domain name is actual, who's going to remember j4mb.wordpress.com? That's, that's not a leader's address. I said what what in the... And I, I thought, well, I can't let this. I actually feel sorry for you, like, in the same way that you would feel sorry for your gingerhead stepson who had fallen over at the special needs uh, Olympics. So Did you have souls? I went and bought payment complete. This is the order confirmation telling me thank you for your order. And here it is. <sighs> Justiceformenandboys.com. Justiceformenandboys.co.uk. Mike, you don't have to worry, man. I have saved them for you. I, I jumped on them, much like a soldier would jump on a hand grenade to save a you know, one of his one of his one of his own or his you know his commanding officer or a child or a snail or a tree because that's the kind of guy I am. My offer is this. I will take those domain names. Well, I'll take the one, I'll take the dot com. I'll attach dot co dot uk to some charity to make you look good. Um White Ribbon uh, Foundation sound good? Oh my god I'm going to take the .com and I'm going to create the website that you need. I'm going to make sure that you are marketed, sold perfectly. Now, I haven't got it done yet, obviously. I only got them yesterday. But I'm, I've got people on it. I've got some nerds. They know the score. I'm telling them what I'm telling them what I want. They're giving it to me. Right? They know I want it. I know they want it. And in a couple, in a few days, I am going to create the website under justiceformenandboys.com. Consequences will never be the same. And I'm going to show you what was possible. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna accept that you, Mike, Mike Buchanan, you are Mike Buchanan. Do you realize that, that that domain name, that's gonna be, that's gonna be my retirement. I'm gonna be Coke Brothers rich, motherfucker. That's gonna be like, that's gonna be worth more than, than, than McDonald's.com, all those cunts who bought domain names at the start of the internet and sold them. And now they live on a moon in a platinum house. Right, there are gonna be people who want that. You know? That's gonna be the most expensive fucking series of letters ever written. <laughs> You are, you are going to be a legend, Mike. I can see it. 
You know, you are going to be, you are going to be a hero. You are going to, you are going to go down in history as one of the greatest people ever. All you've got to do, there's just one thing you've got to do, and that is something that deserves that kind of recognition. Because at the moment you've done nothing. I thought maybe I could offer you my services as an advisor, three pound fifty an hour. Can you stretch that? I could be your advisor, but then I thought, I can't advise you because I've got to be honest, Mike. And if I was your advisor in any level, I would sit there and say, Mike, please kill yourself. Please, just kill yourself quickly, painfully, painlessly, burn, set yourself on fire, I don't care, eat, eat some batteries, you know, shove a, shove a piece of barbed wire up your ass, pull it out of your mouth. It's never going to end well. And it won't, Mike. You, you might be having fun now, but, you know, you're going to have to keep up the crazy. You know, we, we demand a lot of crazy, there's a lot of competition. Stop calling me a homo, or you will be sorry. So you need to make laws of, like, saying, you know, for, you know domestic violence will be legal, but taxed. If a woman basically is doing anything less than running away screaming and setting her head on fire, that counts as consent. You can also make consent retrospective via the means of telepathy. I'm going to make that website, and not only am I going to make the website, I'm going to then send it to all of the publications, uh, all of the journal, all of the papers, websites that you were on, and explain to them the immense act of, of altruism that I have performed. And not only that, I'm also going to assign you four members of staff. I'm going to give you four people. I'm going to. I will make a page for them. I will give. I will give you a biography explaining who and what they are. And and I'm not going to tell them who they are. You know, they're on YouTube, but I'm not going to say who they are specifically because I think it's a nice surprise, and I think you'll find it a nice surprise, Mike. You need. And I want to make sure here. I'm not blackmailing you here. I'm not sitting here. Sort of. There's no implication of ah. I will do all this unless you give me one pound fifty. Uh, every week for 35 years. No, I don't want your money. These are my domain names. You could call me up and say, I will literally give you 20 quid now. Uh, 19 pounds they cost. That's three packets of cigarettes, yeah? Three packets of cigarettes. You know, that's enough to last me, you know, through breakfast. And I, I gave it up. Patreon money. You need me. And I'm going to give it to you. I, I know you want it. Everybody knows that no means yes. Just like your glasses came free on the NHS. And uh, you'll know what I've done. Because all of, because I'm hoping you're now going to get a lot of, a lot of messages from people saying, yeah, and don't be rude to him. Say, go, Mike. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, ladies and gentlemen. I honestly am. I'm excited, Mike. And you're going to be excited too. And no matter what you say, this isn't, this is happening. This is happening. You can't stop it. But when it's all said and done, we're going on. We're going all the way. I've got in at the ground floor, and now we're going to the top. I'll, I'll be back, Richard the Dick Coughlin. Is this real life? I'll see you in a few days. And then the revolution will begin. That was gross. I apologize for that, but I mean, sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta let it out.